Alright guys, Pitching Ace 88, and this is part 34 of my Knights of the Old Republic walkthrough. We, I think, are going to get out of Terrace here. Uh, we are down in Davix's estate, and we're about to go into the hangar door, and some stuff is about to go down. Uh, except we need to find a computer panel. So, I've been doing a great job of teasing you guys a little bit about uh, <laughs> going into doors. Next. Uh, let's see. Barracks hangar. Oh, gas room. <laughs> no, not while we're in it. Uh, root menu. System commands. Disable hangar security. So, sweet. So now, now! Build up, build up, build up, build up. Oh! Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on the sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carl. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Okay, so before this battle, um... Or not before this battle, but uh, throw grenades at Candrus because he will he's a he'll shoot. He's a gunner, so as long as you don't go towards him and Bass is gonna get destroyed right here. Uh actually You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Uh oh. Well, that was quick. Damn those shit. Now bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Well, that was quick. Um, yeah, so just throw a couple grenades at him and he's dead pretty much. That was a waste. Uh, that was that was absolutely awesome. Make sure to pick up the remains. I just you get his visor and his war suit. Uh we will check those out now. His war suit is just ridiculous. I mean, defense of eight, dexterity of three. Uh, not, I'm not gonna wear it because I like what I have. But for him, it's a definite upgrade for Candorous. Uh Improved power blast. I mean, that's what he uses. So, um, that is definitely a good thing. Yes. Uh, and then Kalinor, you're gonna want wherever that guy is. Where is he? Maybe you don't get Kalinor. I could have sworn you got a weapon from him. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep searching here though, because I I could have sworn I got a weapon from Kalo. Oh, he's in there. Okay, well apparently you can't get anything from him. I could have sworn I got a weapon from him, but apparently not. So let's board the Eben Hawk. Let's board it. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this planet. I mean, look, how much of a badass does he look with those visors on? I mean, gosh. Candorous is awesome. Cutscene! Sit and enjoy this. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. No, what about the Promised Land? And every person that I helped? Oh, Malak, you're gonna pay for this. These were pretty good graphics, by by the way. At this time, I remember watching this game, going, "Wow, this is this is really good graphics for the time."
destroying terrorists, and yet we still escape. Okay, I think this is kind of a side mini quest coming up. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Alright. So this, this is not that hard, I don't believe. I don't remember it being hard at all. They use this cutscene every time you get into one of these little battles. I wish they could have mixed it up a little bit, but... Not too hard. A little bit. I made it look harder than it actually was. You, you, I don't think I've ever really died from doing that. So it just it can just be time consuming if it's if you can't get them. Dantooine. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. I agree with Basilo. We should be safe there. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. Okay, well, hopefully this cutscene's not too long, because... Uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of hoping I can finish and wrap this up. It's been a long recording for me. It's been fun though. I really enjoy this game. Now we're going to Dantooine, Jedi. We get we get I've to become a Jedi. The Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the council chambers. Until you talk with the Jedi Council, you will not be able to. Un you'll be unable to switch his character in and out of the party. All right, that sounds good. Got some experience points. Uh, 
I'm gonna go over here because this is a merchant. You cool, cool. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Just to show you guys. Let's see what he has for sale. He has some good stuff. I, I can't remember. Let's go all the way down. Let's fight this really quickly. You know what? We'll go to him next time. Because uh, I am about out of time. It's been Pitch and Ace 88. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording for today. I'll come back for this tomorrow. See you guys in the next video. I am out.